Alright, I'm definitely starting to get a little bit older. I hurt because I think I slept wrong. So, yeah. I saw you and it still I saw him and it still got me. This is gonna be gnarly. Well, I almost got hit by some dumbass going around the corner again. Don't know why I expect people to um drive safely. Well that's neat. Sixty thousand people lived here in eighteen seventy-nine. And that's in both Minneapolis and St. Paul combined in eighteen seventy-nine. Now there's my guess is over a million so all right it smells like asian food well looks like i'm not gonna be able to take the skyway the rest of the way down there around the corner is blocked off all right that's just creepy i just saw a bunch of mannequins just taking apart and laying on the floor
Well, I am now home. Uh, I am actually going to, since I wound up getting my new phone because my old one stopped working, I am going to transfer a few of the pictures that I took in yesterday. Like, all, during all day yesterday, I'm going to try and transfer a few of those pictures over to my phone so I can tr uh, upload them to Instagram. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So it won't take too long. In fact, it only took a few seconds, like five or so seconds. And uh, I figured, you know, I may as well end the video talking about, since people want to know what Minneapolis is like, I will tell them my experiences with downtown Minneapolis this past couple days. So, starting with today and going backwards, today I had somebody, I had just picked up my phone, just bought it, and the Target I went to is downtown and it's got... There's the main doors for Target, there's the rotunda, and then there's the doors that lead from the rotunda to outside. I was in the rotunda heading out to the street, right? Some person I don't even know walks up to me, right? Walks past me, I don't even think anything of it, until, until this dude turns around behind me, puts his hands, one hand on my chest, one hand on my back, and then turns back and walks back into Target. I was this close to chasing after him. This close to calling him out on his bullshit. Sometimes I almost wish, like, there have been little bits and pieces today that I almost wish I would have, even though I know it wouldn't have been worth it to chase him down and call him out on his bullshit. Because A, I don't like being touched, period. And B, regardless of whether I was okay with it or not, I still don't like being touched by people that I do not know. So, having said that, it still wouldn't have been worth my time to fucking chase after the dude. Going back to yesterday, and I don't know what the issue is, but this is the second time this has happened, and both times it's been with two different people, and both times it's been with drunk black guys. Now, as long as somebody treats me with respect, that's all I care about. I may see skin color, but I look past it, and I look at whether people treat me with respect or not. Now, a while ago, back when I lived in the shelter, and yes, I was homeless, that's when I talk about the shelter, that's, I was in a homeless shelter for three or four years, but back when I was in the shelter, some people may not remember this, but I had some guy, drunk black guy, right, calls me over to him, and at the time I was smoking, I was in the shelter, and the shelter at a smoke room where people could go smoke a cigarette or two and then go back to doing whatever the heck they were doing in the uh, shelter. I'm in the smoke room having a cigarette. Dude sits down next to me, tells me his words are, I've got money. So I look at him and I tell him, yeah, so? And I go back to smoking my cigarette. He pulls me closer to him or tries to, winds up pulling himself closer to me and tells me that he wants me to dress up like a girl, shave my facial hair that I had at the time, and give him a beige. He wanted me to suck him off. It's time for my one of my favorite games on Whose Line, Scenes from a Hat. Before every show, we ask the audience to write down some suggestions for some things that our performers have to act out for us. I pick them out at random, let's see how many they can do. Starting with, uh, if lessons in love and sex were taught in the style of Sesame Street. <laughs> The letter H. <laughs> that happened again last night. Two separate instances of just a random guy coming up to me on the street, or wherever the hell I was, two random guys just out of the blue trying to get me to suck them off. And people wonder why women don't like going out. It's because of shit like this. People, don't, like I said before, it doesn't matter what the skin color is as long as you treat me with respect, I don't care. But it's shit like this that makes me want to go around punching people in the face. I, I want to stop restraining myself and just go around punching random people in the face. Because of this shit. People claim it's because of how people dress. 
My fat ass is wearing a long sleeve shirt and a pair of blue jeans. At the time, yesterday, my shirt was untucked in the front. Half the time, I don't even put enough effort in to what I'm doing to make myself look decent. If a guy is going to go around doing this shit, he doesn't care how the person looks. And it's because of shit like this that makes me want to go around punching people in the face. I'm not going to do it. The only time I would punch somebody in the face is out of self-defense, and even then, I've restrained myself every time. Like I did yesterday, like I did today, and like I'll probably continue doing in the future. I don't know what to say. I do not know what the hell to say. And when I walked away from what happened yesterday, didn't do shit, and the guy yesterday, different guy than before, but the guy yesterday and the guy before shared several things. Yes, they shared a skin color. Yes, they both claimed they had money. And they both offered to pay me for services. I wanted a peanut. $20 can buy many peanuts. Explain how. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. That I was not willing to provide. These guys may not respect themselves enough, but I respect myself enough to not do that shit. So, if you guys made it this far, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell notification, and I look forward to seeing you in the, in the next video.